I need to say something. Sorry, I'm finna join. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm finna join. Alright, I'm finna join. Hey, Miss Belinda. I am Latanya Smith. I'm the CEO and founder of Speak Life to Youth and Children International. Uh, SLIC, Let's Speak Life uh, International. And today we're finishing up the year with our last Cooking Basics 101 class. And before I introduce the speaker or the, the cooks, <laughs> uh, let me tell you a little bit about them. This lady, if y'all have never had a homemade Arnold Palmer, which is one of my favorites. For those who know me, I love sweet tea and lemonade. She has Noonie's Sweet Tea and Lemonade. Y'all can pull it up on Facebook. It's and awesome. IG. And IG. And IG. And on IG. Instagram. On Instagram. Uh, let me tell you my favorites. Her Arnold Palmer, her Strawberry Lemonade, and most recently, which I got to pay her the money today, Peach Lemonade. So if you haven't had any, Y'all got to get some. So, introducing Tamika and Carol Floyd, and they're going to be doing chicken, chicken Alfredo, Alfredo pizza. So, I'm turning it over to them and I'm trying to multitask. So, I'll see y'all at the end of the lesson. Hello, everyone. How y'all doing today? Hey. Hello. I've been working on Y'all kind of small, so if you could just kind of take them. Oh, there y'all go. All right, so today we're going to do a chicken Alfredo pizza. It's one of my family's favorite. It's easy to do. Um, it's a quick meal. My daughter is an, an Alfredo connoisseur, so I had to figure out a way to find something that she would like so that we would eat it because we don't always want to eat for Alfredo noodles. And so I uh, I used to be a homemade instructor in the after school program, and this is one of the recipes I found. And I started doing it at home, and it's a winner. So, and my daughter out because we're going to do two different versions of this uh, one with uh, chicken that you cook. And then we're going to do one with some prepared chicken. Um, you can buy tights of a different brand of chicken fajita, grilled chicken in the refrigerated section or your um, grocery, local grocery store. And you can just chop it up or whatever. But we're going to do two. Kara is going to do the already cooked version. And I'm going to do the cooking part. Uh, so let's get started with what you need. First thing you need is um, a prepared pizza dough. Like um, you can buy them in most places, Walmart, uh, but in stores. I don't know. Miss Latanya had a hard time finding it in that Publix, like at our Publix last night. So I don't know. But this is one of the brands, um, Mama Mary's Original Pizza Crust. And it's not too thick. Um, you can use or make your own pizza dough. In some cases, you can sometimes go to a, um, your local pizza place and ask them if you can buy some dough from them. And then, you know, but this is quick when you, uh, if you're a college student or you're after school or just uh, for most people now at home hanging out for COVID and you want something fast to eat and it doesn't take long, this pizza and it's, and it's homemade, then this is what you can do. So. Um, but for my Alfredo pizza, I use the prepared dough, um, spinach, uh, mo uh, mozzarella, shredded mozzarella cheese. Um, I have some olive oil that I'm going to put on the pizza crust and cook the chicken in. Um, my brand of ragu sauce is Bertoli's. I love it because most often it's already seasoned, cuts down on the, the um, salt that you use and what have you. And, but you can also use ragu. Um, great value at Walmart has a brand of Alfredo sauce. So whatever you like, whatever you choose, was whatever is in your price range of spending. Um, I put very fine chopped mushrooms on it just because I try to get 
more vitamins and other things that she needs in because she's very picky. So I tried to throw that in and finally chop it, put it on the pizza, but you can omit or add whatever you like to your spinach Alfredo pizza. And I have some finely chopped onions. I'm going to cook some, cook some of the onions with, I cut up probably a fourth of an onion of a, a just a regular size onion. Not a big, large onion, but just a meat, uh, small to medium sized onion. And I chopped a fourth of a cup of it and I'm gonna use part of it to put on the pizza after we assemble it and the other part to cook the chicken with, with that. And then I have some red pepper flakes because I like to put red pepper flakes on my pizza, but this is uh, whatever you like. You don't have to do that. Um, and like with most pizzas, whatever you like, whatever you want to put on it, just with the Alfredo pizza, I would kind of <laughs> stick with like shrimp, chicken, or you can, uh, you can do ground chicken, or if you're going to do some type of beef, make sure it's kind of like some kind of ground beef, because I don't know if you, anybody eats steak with Alfredo sauce. Um, <laughs> Yeah, she does. <laughs> you want to jump in here, my girl? Just tell them hi. Oh, hi. Yeah, so if you eat steak with Alfredo like she does, then go ahead and chop up some steak and put it on there. Like I said, Alfredo is, if she could drink it, she probably would, but because she loves it. So if you ask her what she wants to eat, most often it's Alfredo. Most kids are like that anyway. So now we're going to get started. I am going to, um, on which are prepared dough, just follow the directions that's on the back or in the insert in your pizza. This one is uh, cook on 425. I preheated the oven already and that's something you can do. Preheat your oven to whatever the instruction is. This one is 425. So it's preheated already. And then we're gonna take a tablespoon of olive oil you can, uh, you can use more if you want to and drizzle it on your, on your um, pizza dough. Um, I need to get another spoon. You can use a brush, a pastry brush or whatever, but normally I just take a spoon and kind of spread it out all over my pizza dough because you want to season I think with these, we're going to need a little bit more than a tablespoon, so I'm going to add another tablespoon. Just, uh, I'm an eyeball cooker. I'm not necessarily a follow directions unless it's a new recipe, and most often I'll take a new recipe and adjust it to how I want it done. But just spread it all over your pizza dough because you want to have flavor all in your pizza. You don't want to bite into a pizza and the dough tastes like black. So I'm going to spread out some olive oil. You can use butter if that's what you like. You can use vegetable oil if you don't have any olive oil, but with the vegetable oil, I will go kind of light on it. And then after you've done that, we're going to sprinkle some I had it, Italian seasoning on. What did I do with it? Sorry, y'all. I put it somewhere. But Italian seasoning, I got it. I just know what I see with it. And while we're looking for that, Ikara is a oh. new student in college. Carol, you want to tell them what you do? And I play soccer at Reinhardt University. And this and is I'm a freshman. Yeah, and this is um like I I've been trying to think of college meals that she can prepare that stuff that she likes. And I've been trying to figure out how she could do this at college because she can only have a microwave. And so, um, but what I think I'm going to do is um, cook her dough and like slice it so that she can, and you can prepare your chicken, do the prepared chicken, chop it up, put it in small Ziploc bags if you have a college student and put it in the freezer part and she can take it out and unthought and her dough is already cooked, keep it refrigerated and make the pizza that way. Um, another way to do it is mix the, the chicken, the Alfredo sauce, the spinach or whatever else, put that in the bag to freeze it and then uh, cut the pizza dough, keep it refrigerated 
uh, cook the dough, keep it refrigerated, and then put everything on there and slightly warm it in the microwave. And it depended on what type, size, of um, wattage your microwave is, is how long I probably would start with maybe 45, to a, 45 seconds to a minute. And you can adjust and do it any way you want to, but that's an idea I've been working with and some other recipes. So trying to make them where she can get food, food in her without it being Chick-fil-A, Zaxby's, and Chipotle every day. So here we go. You're going to sprinkle it like she did already sprinkle it with a, Italian seasoning. You want to hold it up? If you... Um, so, uh, I'm keeping it real basic today, but I'm a seasoned person. I like for my food to be really seasoned. So you can add a little garlic powder and a little onion powder also to your crust. And that'll work too. So, you know, I'm going to probably do that now. Y'all just hold on one second. I'm going to add a little onion powder. You want to add some to yours? Okay. She don't want to add any time. <laughs> she picky like She's me. She's very picky. And a little garlic powder to my crust. And then I'm going to let me start assembling her pizza because she had she doesn't have to do anything but assemble her pizza and put it in the oven. But for me, I'm going to go ahead and um, cook the chicken breast. And so. For, but let me go. So, Miss Latonya, you won't have to do a whole lot. I'm going to bring everything over here. So, so what we have is a pan, and it doesn't have to be a cast down skillet. It can be any pan of your choice. And we're going to take two tablespoons of olive oil. Be careful, turn that out on the front one. Two tablespoons of olive oil. Olive oil medium? Yeah, put it on six. Um, you can two tablespoons of olive oil, and then I'm going to take half, and I, my hands are clean. But for if you're handling raw chicken, don't forget to use gloves. Um, I'm sometimes when I'm cooking, I don't do that, but to, for today's sake, I'm going to do it. I'm going to put on a glove, and I'm going to add half of my chopped onion to a little over half or a little under half because Miss Latanya and the carrot, either one don't like onions. But I'm going to saute. I'm going to saute my onion and my chicken on the stove on medium heat. The, I have an electric uh, stove, but if you have a gas stove, medium four five it would do. And then I'm going to take a tablespoon of garlic, put that in there. And then I'm going to add my already seasoned chicken. My chicken that I seasoned with a little salt, just a little bit of salt, black pepper, onion powder, and garlic powder. And I'm going to saute that for my pizza. So as the Kara finishing uh, assembling her pizza, I'm going to cook this. As soon as my Um, while you care is doing that, I'm going to show you some utensils that you can use. And you may not have, um, you got to put your effort on now. You forgot. Oh, okay. Well, if that's how you want to do it, that's fine too. Like I said, you can assemble this any way you want to. But remember, other people are going to eat it. So sometimes you got to think about how they're going to eat. You want to use a spoon? Um, I have my husband's, um, uh, grilling stuff because I found that it worked better when I'm putting my pizza in, take, putting it in and take it in and out of the oven. So, um, I don't put it on, if you have a pizza stone, you can use that, but I just, you normally assume my pizza very carefully, take it to the oven and put it in there. And then I use some type of spatula. I, my husband has this one. He has this one. But if you want to, you can use a regular spatula. spatula and I kind of use some tongs with a spatula to kind of take it in and out the oven. 
and I use that and I have a pizza cutter but if you want to you can just use a knife not everybody has those I'm just one of those weird people that like kitchen gadgets so but and then over here I usually put down some foil or some type of wax paper or something that when I take my pieces out I lay them on on there and I cut them that way it saves time on time and on washing dishes because who likes to wash dishes Not me. and if you see Ikara's putting um her sauce on her pizza is that all you're gonna put on there make sure you spread it out good make sure you spread it out good anybody that need to be admitted can you see oh i can't see can you see here okay. no oh, okay and so now that my garlic and onion is starting to cook so starting to i'm going to Stir it around a little bit and let that kind of cook a little bit. Make sure that when you're cooking with <clears throat> garlic, that you cook with it, keep stirring it around and cook it because garlic can burn. And you, so that's why I have it on medium heat because you don't want to have it on a high heat because garlic easily burns and when it burns, it tastes nasty and bitter. So I'm going to cook that around for a little bit. And you make sure you want to um, put your skillet on, turn it on, let it heat up a little bit, put your onion and garlic in there. And for, for today's steak, I just threw everything in there. But normally, I would wait and put the onion in first, cook it, then put the garlic in there. One, you want to hear that sizzle when you put it in there. Yes, you can go ahead and put your chicken on. And if you want to put a little bit of mushrooms and a little bit of that onion on there. But you can't oh, like it. I know you don't she don't like onions. I don't like onions and mushrooms. Well, mushrooms like that. I eat onions cut up real small. And make sure you spread it, spread your chicken out. I mean, make sure you go to the edge like you normally do. Make sure that you get it all spread it on there. Put your, and then you gotta put your cheese on there. Ikaro assembles hers a little bit different than I do, but that's because she eats the way she eats. And you'll see when I, when I start mine, how I'm going to do it. So now I'm about to add the chicken to the, stall, to the skillet. And this should take maybe two to three minutes, maybe five. And I try to get it almost all the way done because even though I'm going to put it in the oven and let it cook, it's only going to be in the oven from five to seven minutes. So I try to get it all the way, almost all the way done or all the way done and so that we won't be getting any raw chicken and getting salmonella. I'm trying to see if it's trying to let somebody in. I can't feel Assembling you? Uh, I don't know. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. Y'all, don't that pizza look good that she doing? Yeah, that looks good. That look good, Carol. That does look really good. And like I said, you can flavor your pizza. I mean, you can season your pizza as you She's adding a little bit more Italian on here. Italian seasoning on here. Because like I said, I... I like a lot of flavor. We're a big kind of flavor family. So we add a lot of seasoning, not a lot of salt, but a lot of seasoning to our food. So she put a little bit more Italian season, seasoning on hers. And um, can you chop some more spinach for my pizza? Please. Mm. Kara loves spinach, as y'all can tell. <laughs> It's kind of a forced thing with her mom because she needs to eat more vegetables. 
All right, how many kids on the on the call that love spinach and mushrooms and onions? You may have to unmute your phone. You can also do this pizza with shrimp if you like, and you can make it a shrimp alfredo. Anything that you can put in alfredo, you pretty much can put on this pizza. You can also do it with um, shredded pork. You can put that on there. Like just whatever your protein of choice is, you can put that on your pizza. Like I said, if you're going to do to put my finger. I see. You want more spinach? Um, I think that may be really good. Yeah. That's not. Nelson, you gonna do a pizza for your mom? Okay, okay. Isaiah and Kyra. Yes. Okay, y'all got two devices going on. I'm hearing the echo. So Isaiah, you gonna do a pizza for your mom? Yes, ma'am. Okay, great. All right. So my chicken is done. Like I said, it's real quick and easy. It took me about five, six minutes to kind of get it done. And I've already seasoned my pizza crust with the olive oil and um, Italian seasoning. So I'm going to start assembling it now. For me, um, this is how I do it. I'm going to pour my sauce on. Y'all, I got to tell you, it's smelling good. Now just say oatmeal for breakfast. Oh, it's fine. I can use that one. It's fine. It's all that for though. It's okay. Carrie's waiting around on me. Now I like a lot of sauce because I hate a dry pizza. So I love a lot of sauce too. You may be like, what is this lady doing? But I like a lot of sauce because I hate dry pizza. And just spread it out. You don't have to use a spoon. You can use a spatula of your choice. If you don't have that, you can you know, use your clean hands. My grandmother used to say, yeah, clean hands is the best kitchen utensil. So we got that. <clears throat> I'm going to put my cheese down first. Just a, a, a light sprinkle of cheese because I'm going to add some more in just a moment. And I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of Italian season on top of that cheese. And now I'm going to add chicken. Just put it in this hot, so that's why I'm using a spoon, because normally I would already have it cooked and I would just throw it on there with my hand. And you can use as much of this chicken you want, more or less, however you want it. And if you have any chicken left over, you can throw it on a salad. Make your chicken salad or sandwich or something. So. Now I'm going to add just a little bit of onion, sprinkle it in. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit. It's going to cook. <laughs> you care saying, uh -uh. You care saying no. And now I'm going to add a few little mushrooms. On but half I'm only going to put it on half because Miss Latanya doesn't like mushrooms. Sorry, y'all. I am a picky eater like you care. But I'm a, on the side I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna load it up. <laughs> and now I'm gonna add my spin. And then after I add my spinach, I'm gonna just a little bit more sauce. Put just a tad bit more Italian season. Oh, 
gonna do some cheese first, and then I'm gonna add a little bit more sauce on top. So basically, if you all get the one package of pizza dough, it comes with two. It in comes a pack. with two in a pack. You need a jar or a jar and a half of more cheese. Alfredo yeah. sauce. And you just put as much or, as, you know, however you want to do it. I'm going to use some more sauce. On there. Sarah's adding more cheese to her. I'm going to have a piece of both. I'm going to have a piece of both, y'all. Save tea sauce. Do you have any questions? Anybody have any questions? And I'm going to look. You can unmute your phone if you have a question or comment. Is it mozzarella cheese? Yes, I'm sorry. Yes, it is. It's mozzarella cheese. But if you want to use uh, some other kind of cheese, whatever you like. I know a lot of people don't like mozzarella cheese, but um, you can use it. I don't know how well a cheddar cheese would pair with Alfredo sauce. I've never had that, but I'm sure you could use whatever you like. And then for me, I'm going to sprinkle just a tad bit of red pepper flakes. I don't know if Miss Latani like it. It's not too spicy. Okay. And I'll just sprinkle just a tad bit. Go light on the red pepper flakes because it's real spicy. Unless you like really spicy food. Then, of course. So now we're going to put them in the oven. And like I said, when I put them in the oven, I just put them on the top rack. And I let them cook. You ready? Mm -hmm. Be very careful when you transfer. And hold on one second. I'm going to pull this rack out and show you kind of how I do it when I'm cooking two. I push one kind of close to the back. And then I put the other one kind of mostly in the front. It's fine. Okay. And then um, it says to cook for five to seven minutes. So I'm going to set a timer. Normally I'm a peeker, so I look in and out, but I'm going to set a timer right now. Seven, seven minutes. And that's basically the Alfredo pizza. Um, we can go over the ingredients again, just in case you missed something. You can go. Okay, so we have the prepared pizza crust. And like I said, just follow the instructions on what to do as far as cooking the prepared pizza crust in the oven. This one is 425 for seven to eight minutes. Um, spinach. Um, you need some olive oil, you need some Alfredo sauce of some sorts of kind. Today we have Bertoli and Ragu. That's the one you can use. Red pepper flakes if you like. Mushrooms, onions, chopped garlic. And buying chopped garlic is a jar or minced, chopped, uh, minced garlic in the jar is a lifesaver because you don't want your hands smelling like garlic, and this works just the same as garlic that you would chop up on your own. Onion, mozzarella. This package is two cups. I think it's like two. Yeah, two cups is that. So this package, if you are making more than one, then um, if you're making four pieces, you're going to need two of these. So unless you are a cheese hog and you can want 10 packs of cheese on your piece and that works too. And like I said, Carrie used the already prepared chicken by Tyson. Uh, uh, Tyson is one brand. I forgot another brand, but each store has several different brands of the chicken that you can use. And like I said, whatever your price point is, you can buy in that price point is basically does the same thing. 
And I think <clears throat> the prepared chicken has different flavors that you can use. So, cause I think today we used a chicken fajita and I accidentally threw the package in the trash because normally when I cook, I clean as I go. And that's another thing that you guys can do as you're clean, as you're cooking, make sure that if you're not of age, um, you have someone in the kitchen with you that is um, kind of monitoring what you're doing with the knives and the stove and the eyes, you know, just make sure there's an adult around. And if you're uh, someone that's over the age, then of course, you know, um, make sure that you, um, like I said, cook the chicken, chop the chicken up. <clears throat> it's just chicken breast. And we bought our, uh, already um, chopped up chicken tenders, but you can use a regular chicken breast and just chop it up into pieces that you want. Um, another good idea for this Alfredo pizza, and I've done this, I bought a rotisserie chicken from Walmart or Kroger or Publix, and I've taken chicken off of the rotisserie chicken, chopped it up, threw it on a pizza, threw it in the oven, especially when, we're, when we were really playing soccer and we were getting home really late sometimes, and she would have sometimes a school practice and a club practice that that this works for that especially for those people that have kids that are in sports and you have to get something hot and out and a meal ready for them in a hurry because of homework and all of that stuff this works so you can use like i said a prepared chicken or the chicken that you cooked yourself or even a rotisserie chicken that that works hello how you doing but the that works um like i said shrimp those little shrimps that are um, the little shrimp that's already cooked, you can use those. You can take those out, give them a good rinse, take them out, thaw them out, give them a good rinse, pat them dry, get them as dry as you can, pat them dry, chop them up, throw them on your pizza because they're going to heat through when you get put them in a pizza oven, in the oven. So that, <clears throat> that it, this pizza is very versatile, very versatile. You can prepared in any kind of way. And so, um, like I said, and I am one of those people that when I cook, I like to lay everything out and prep everything and have it ready so that I'm not going back and forth to the cabinets and all that stuff. So you get it. Like you see, I had everything, except for I don't know why I put the Italian seasoning in the cabinet. I don't know what I was thinking. But for the most part, this that's it. So do you guys have any questions? No questions. No questions. I know it's very, it's really simple. So, I mean, you can't really mess it up. So I'm going to check the pizza. So while she's checking the pizza, just a couple of things. This is our last um, cooking basics class one-on-one for the year. Our next one will be January 9th and we will be doing stuffed shells. Um, so tune in and you'll get those yeah. notifications. Also, if you would like to donate or you know spread the word on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, go to our website, uh, leave a comment. Um, if you would like to donate, you can go to our cash app, dollar sign, speak for slick, S-L-Y-C, all caps, speak, the number four, slick, all caps, or donate through our website. Uh, we do appreciate it. And um, if I do not see you all again for this year, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy New Year. I'm not sure what other holidays or is in that, but I appreciate you, I love you. And to all my kids, I love you and I wish you a safe Christmas and holiday season. Everybody stay safe. And thank you again, this is LT. And I'm checking out. Talk to y'all later. Oh, and by the way, we'll send a picture on the website and on Facebook of how the pizzas look when they, once they come out. See ya. Bye. 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 Bye.